Hi Divine Nature fans, welcome back to another day with me. Today I'm gonna take you on a special trip. As you can see, I'm not at home. I am in my car, getting out the car, and I'm gonna take you to the Dollar Tree to show you some quick little things that you can get to help with your learning environment for teaching strategies, things like that. So don't think that you have to go to Lakeshore or Discount Supply or all these other fancy places to get materials. You could go somewhere as cheap as the Dollar Tree, guys, and it be effective. So if you're new, subscribe, like, and comment. Check out some old videos and excuse my son in the background, this is what it's like, but we're about to go into this store and shake some things. Check you out in a minute. Hey guys, so as you can see, we are now in the Dollar Tree and it's Valentine's Day. So let's go find the teacher now. Here with my kids, so you might hear me talking to them. Sorry, that's just my life. Look at all of the gardening things. So, side tips, stay focused. <laughs> but I will probably do another video because I like to garden on things that you can help your students gardening and planting and make a lesson out of it. They have so many great tips and things that you could just use for how to keep. We're entering the teaching aisle. This is my favorite aisle in here. And <clears throat> right here you will see um, pencil cases, craft boxes, which are really convenient to have uh, so if you just want to place them at the table and um, for instance like me I have the little people so I don't keep a lot of my uh, art class out but when we come to the table this is a good place so they can share and do things like that to have different sizes which are dope and these are something that I bought when I had a lot of preschoolers and everybody had their own box so everybody that was a preschooler had their own like crowns, pencils, uh, scissors, and things like that. And you could label them so they know, put their picture on them, things like that. Right here, this is craft paper that I love to use for backdrops, for art uh, walls and things like that, just to, um, to make your, your thing wall festive. You can make it with you can make it with texture um, and things like that as well. You just need a loud enough. So we probably should have used the, the microphone. mic. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, we at the dollar store. This is real. You know that. Let's get back to focus. This is my lovely son. He wants to be on the camera because he has nothing else to do. Ah, perks of having kids. So these are pretty cool to have their borders and a cool trick to do with these. Um, of course, you could put them on the wall where the kids can see them and have like alphabet uh, word walls, things like that. Or um, for instance, you could buy two and you can make a game out of it, a matching game. Of course you have, these are pretty cool uh, for your art area. They're plastic, they're easy to use and you can't break them but just have them put a piece of paper over it, color on it, and get the pattern. So you also have things like pointer sticks here that are super cheap and fun to use in group time. Uh, plenty of borders that you can use. I like to use um, name strips, and you, you can use name strips for uh, writing their name, placing it all over the room so they can identify their their names and things like that. The Dollar Tree has come up, they have little trays. I told you in another video how I love trays. These are super convenient to use as well. So everybody has their own tray, their own space, and you can't use my stuff, right? Counters. Counters are another great thing to use to sort for colors, for discounting, things like that. One dollar. Timers, if you need somebody to just say, if you need to tell your kids like, oh, you have until the timer goes down and then it's somebody else's turn, there you go. 
they even have dry eraser boards guys so if you guys are in group we have um you guys are learning circles have everybody have one draw a circle and hold it up boom one dollar pencils that i like their pinchers that work on fine motor skills so as you are teaching your kids fine motor skills squeeze them release and this will also help with um, when it's time for them to begin writing with pencils and scissors cutting glue sticks here super convenient you think the dollar tree used to have so they have kids scissors right but they used to have the ones that had a string in the inside and so some of them might have it and some might not but you use them and it helps with the fine motor skills because it's hard for kids to understand to open and shut and it just helps them with the spring helps them force it to open and shut again so that is a really really good tool to get from a dollar store you look over here you have lots of poster paper so this will be good for your your thing walls or art walls um, anytime you're changing stuff up these are fun if you have flat uh, mirrors or if you have large windows, sliding glass doors, so they won't run into them as well as uh, they're fun to look at. If you don't want to do this, you can also print out pictures and put those on the windows. I've done that as well. So next that we have on this side is you have a lot of folders. So these are things that I use for... Um, these are things that I use for like the uh, sign in and out. You get your sign in and out binders right here. Uh, these, I'm gonna actually grab a couple because I'm gonna be doing a video for you guys of how to make file folder games. And you get short ones and long ones. So stay tuned for that. We good to go. So in this aisle, this is their toy aisle, but what I've learned in the dollar store, their toy aisle has things that you can use for your dramatic play area. So they may be a little cheaper, but it's still stuff that you can use for your dramatic play area. Dress up stuff. They have two Barbies. Um, and then if you look over this way, they have cars for the boys, tracks, some of the stuff. <clears throat> These are bugs that you can use for your science area. And they are like rubber, so easy to clean, things like that. Come down this way. Once again, another cool item to get. It's a puzzle. Soft for your toddlers, easy for them to do. Why not? Come down over here. You have some little masks that you can get. <clears throat> Once again, know your students, know what's appropriate and what's not, and what like correlates with your teaching strategies. Here's some art supplies that you have, some little painting. Um, these are fun I've done before. If you don't want to spend a lot of time with prepping, so to speak. These are really good too. This is molding clay and it's really hard, so it's not like the softest Play-Doh, but they could really get into creating different things with this. Oh, this is new. Look at they trying to come up. They got sand, kinetic sand. What? I think I'm gonna get some of this. This can be pricey at the regular store, it's like five dollars. You also got Play-Doh down here no excuses right and you have more art supplies look at this they got plate on the bag now yeah. good lord i think i want it no okay and then down here you have some more puzzles and balls that you can play with outside and things like that so no excuses, y'all. Uh, like I said, you have all this stuff right here. If you turn to the opposite side, a plethora of stickers that can definitely help with um, 
encouraging kids to do the work or they had a great day. This is something great to have. Um, clipboards, they usually have small ones too, but clipboards are good. So um, just like the dry eraser boards, they just walk around with them. Down over here, you have plenty of flashcards. The Dollar Tree is good for flashcards. So once again, with the flashcards, you can buy double pairs to create matching games, so to speak. Um, and they have a plethora, meaning a whole lot. And I think I'm gonna buy a couple. Whoa! They got shapes, they got colors. And I think I'm gonna just do shapes to set, because I'm gonna make a game out of them. Yeah, coloring books. And then over here you have your art supplies, which is very cool to have, and you have more than you. So you wanna be able to use your cheap resources for what you can. Now, sometimes they will have um, little blocks over there, but in this dollar store, they don't have it right now. So that will come in another video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't wanna keep it long, but these are a couple things that you can use for learning tools and uh, materials for a dollar. See you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye, Define Your Friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.